Well, 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 look who it is. Somebody who didn't plan out their costume and has realized that Halloween is less than a week away and you're ferociously scrolling through YouTube trying to find some inspiration. Well, never fear because if you're a chronic procrastinator, this channel is a safe place for you. And this year, I really challenged myself to try and come up with some new ideas and some favorite repeats because I'm an earth sign. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. Before we get too into it though, this video is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa. You guys know I love Ana Luisa. All the jewelry I'm wearing in this video today is from Ana Luisa. I don't think a day goes by where I'm not wearing at least one Ana Luisa piece because their pieces are just so unique and high quality. They start at just $39. I feel like it's really amazing for the quality of pieces that you're getting. Favorite part about Ana Luisa is that they're all sustainably made. I think that Ana Luisa does a really good job of spelling out all their sustainability and being super transparent. They use a mix of recycled and eco-friendly materials. They also lab grow their diamonds, which shine without the mine, which is cruelty-free lab-grown diamonds that have the same brilliance and clarity as natural diamonds, but are much kinder to the planet and the people. Ana Luisa is 100% carbon and water neutral. According to the World Bank, the fashion industry is responsible for 10% of annual global carbon emissions, more than all international flights and maritime shipping combined. And they've assessed their water footprint and helped to restore 2.5 million gallons of water since January 2021 by supporting certified water restoration projects. I just love that you can have super cute jewelry without sacrificing the planet or the people. It's so important to me that my jewelry is sustainable and I love Ana Luisa for that. I'm excited about the pieces I'm wearing today, especially this heart necklace, because I feel like it's going to be really cool in a lot of the costumes. It's like unique and fun that I feel like it'll add to the characters, but also these pieces, even not for Halloween, are just kind of my new go-tos. Like these earrings, I think I'll probably be wearing these all the time. They're just so wearable. And hoop, little gold hoops in the fall is just such a vibe i'm so excited for them this super dainty pearl ring is one of my new favorites it's just so petite and dainty i'm literally going to be wearing it every day i feel like with the holidays coming up as well Ana luisa is just the perfect gift i've gotten Ana luisa for all my best friends for their birthdays my mom my sister even my boyfriend loves them so i absolutely recommend checking out Ana luisa you guys can go to the link in my description to shop and yeah thank you Ana luisa for sponsoring this video now let the magic begin okay first up we have a classic yet incredibly easy cute witch great opportunity to wear your favorite black dress i love this hat i found and you could totally add a little charm to the top of a witch hat that you find at like party city or maybe that you already have i feel like this is just the ultimate last minute costume started it ladies do not start fights but they can finish them this might be one of my favorites. I made this dress a little bit ago and switched out the brown bow I had on it for this pink one to maria -fy it. I added these cute tights and boots and then a ribbon on my neck because I felt like it kind of looked like a collar and I put this little gold pin that I had from the antique store on it. I think it also looks so cute with the red heart necklace and my pearl ring. I'm the queen of lazy DIYs, so even if you don't have cat ears, you can literally just cut some paper into triangles, punch a hole through it with bobby pins to attach to your hair. Then you, I use this headband to kind of secure it in place a little more and also hide the bobby pins. It really doesn't need to be perfect. And now, the scariest costume of them all, our childhood trauma. Just kidding. Although ballet is both my childhood trauma and also something I love and think is so beautiful, I feel like you could really go either way with this. All you need is a leotard or like a pink top or some tights and any sort of ballet flats. I recently found my point shoes from when I was younger. From when I used to do point, I didn't just buy them for this video. Don't get your bun heads in a bunch. I'm not going to try and go up on them either, I know I'm not strong enough anymore, but I felt like they were really pretty just for the video, although if I was actually wearing this costume out, I probably would wear just normal ballet flats because they're a lot more comfortable. And here is the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Honestly, I really don't think that you need the exact parts to a costume. If you have some black and red, you can literally just put them together in cool ways and find like a bunch of heart things if you have heart necklaces like the one I have from Ana Luisa or I have this heart pin that I put on this like scrap that I made into a choker and I think it looks amazing. I feel like 
I definitely, if I was actually gonna wear this out, would definitely try and find a crown to wear with it. Um, you could probably find one at the thrift store, honestly, but honestly, I feel like this look still gets pulled off without one. Things are working out according to my ultimate design. Oh, soon I'll oh. have that little mermaid and the ocean will be mine. <laughs> I feel ahead of the times this year because I've actually included this idea before, but this year I feel like I've been seeing a lot of it on TikTok. I want to toot my own horn, but I really feel like I did that. Anyway, this is Vanessa, the Lady Ursula disguises herself as um, in The Little Mermaid, and literally all you need is a white dress and a shell necklace, which I feel like you could even potentially make. Long hair is a plus. It isn't necessary if you don't have a wig or you don't already have long hair. I still feel like you could totally pull this look off. Um, I just feel like this was so fun and a very like kind of niche and creative one like not as expected as like ariel or ursula which are also two amazing costumes you could do this one is very last minute for me and is definitely not the exact replica of her outfit but i was inspired by my i feel like wig. it's an example of how even if you don't have the exact clothing items if you have something that's the same color i really think you can make it work especially if you add little details that make the character clearer like where here i added sabrina's black headband by the way sabrina the teenage witch i was so proud of the styling on this one i feel like you can really just use things that you have around the house to make a super detailed and cool costume i had this white slip dress and i used my anna luisa necklace as a crown headpiece and i used the scarf i had and pinned it up with a pin I feel like scarves are such an easy way to just play around with texture and more colors to an outfit. Um, and I pinned it up with a pin, which if you can't already tell is also a really good way that you can make use of the clothes that you have and mix them up. I always like to stock up on them at the antique store because you just never know when they'll come in handy. Originally, this was Aphrodite, although somebody on TikTok told me that she gets mad if you impersonate her. So... I think I'm now deciding that it's actually a selkie, but you can do what you will. I randomly had this amazing vintage dress that is just perfect for Dorothy, but really I feel like any dress, any blue dress will work for her. Blue dress honestly could work as so many characters in Disney, could work for Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Wendy from Peter Pan, and of course Dorothy. Especially if you put your hair in little braids. I think the ribbon really adds character and I miraculously had some red shoes that I got at the vintage store last year that I think are just perfect. But again, even if you don't have the exact silhouette of Dorothy's dress, I think that that can actually lead for more creativity depending on like, pieces of clothing you have in your closet already that are that color, I think can really just make it fun. Even if it's pants, like honestly, if you had like a gingham blue set, I think that could be and mix it up and be a little bit unexpected. All right, one of my favorite ideas is to dress like your childhood fashion icons if they were grown up today, because I don't know, I always feel a little weird dressing up like a little kid, but it also leaves room for your own creativity and imagination of what the character would wear now, like in their 20s. And it leaves room for you to not have the exact outfit that they wore in their childhood books. So this is Fancy Nancy who I know would be obsessed with the selkie dresses and just would love super pink and pretty accessories. Next up, I have Madeline, who really, as long as you have similar color scheme, I think you're good. Every time I put on this dress, I feel like her, so I definitely thought that she'd love it in her 20s. This vintage blue jacket also just gives me total Madeline vibes, especially paired with the red bucket hat. This is also just a cute outfit for every day, so even if you do last minute buy stuff for Halloween for something like this, like you'll actually wear it after Halloween too. Next, I have Eloise. I actually made this dress and i'm so obsessed with it i think the black and white is just screaming eloise and honestly if you have anything black and white in your closet i think you could pull it off as eloise i just feel like dressing like childhood storybook characters in their grown-up years is just a creative take on the childhood characters and literally there's so many to choose from um so yeah goddess please Send me a beautiful, sweet man to love me as I love him. With an iconic Halloween movie like The Love Witch, you can really go through and look at all her outfits in the movie and then, then just see if you have anything remotely similar in your own closet to remake them. Obviously, mine isn't exact, but I feel like with the long hair, the black outfit, and red accents on the neck with my ribbon, and my Anna Luisa 
necklace, it really gets the point across. If I was actually wearing this out, I would definitely also put on blue eyeshadow. I think that makeup can really make or break a look. Next up, I have the White Swan and Black Swan Duo. For the White Swan, I had this tutu that definitely does not fit me. You can also look at my last video for how to make your own tutu um, if you don't have a tutu already in your closet or can't find one. I pinned on this feather trim that I had in my sewing box and also put on these puff sleeves as an extra detail that I also made in my last video. I used some feather trim in my hair as well to just kind of make a crown and just had a lot of fun pulling things together for this look. If you go to the thrift store, Party City or something, just be on the lookout for like feather boas because I like a white feather boa or a black feather boa for the black swan because I think you can really just arrange them on the outfit in different ways and it just like brings the look to life. If you don't mind getting your pieces dirty, you could also put a fake like wound on your stomach to represent the end of the black swan movie. Then we have the black swan who I had a black leotard for and had also thrifted this tutu at the bins. I put on a ribbon on my neck for an extra accent and love how the red Anna Luisa necklace looks with this. Oh my gosh. I also happened to have black feather trim that I placed around my waist and in my hair. And then I just did some darker feathery makeup. I feel like you can really have fun with this makeup look and that'll really just take it to the next level. And honestly, a good last minute one, I feel like it's just to find a celebrity or icon, like maybe somebody from the golden Hollywood age that maybe you have the same hair color as or could semi pull off. You can go look up pictures of them and then just choose like any look that they had to recreate with something that maybe you have something similar in your closet. For example, this was supposed to be a recreation of this picture of Elizabeth Taylor because I realized I had a similar green colored dress then I just carried around this this white fuzzy shawl like she has in the picture. You could even just find like a big piece of fabric um, for something like that. I feel like this is a good one because like none of these women had just one look. You can really go through a bunch of their looks and then just find anything that maybe is similar to something you already have and try and recreate it. Other cool golden era women to do would be Josephine Baker, Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, Dorothy Dandridge, Anna Mae Wong and of course many others. All right, and last but not least, and probably my favorite, I have Betty Boop, who I bleached my eyebrows for. Just kidding, I just put concealer on them. Look how cool this came out. I feel like if you have short hair or a short wig, I feel like this one is literally so cute for anybody, as long as you have a red dress, and then you can go ahead and accessorize it how you feel after that, and just have a ton of fun with the makeup, and you're good to go. All right, let's do a lightning round of other characters. Specifically, characters from movies and TV shows because I feel like a lot of them oftentimes don't have just one look, so you can go through a bunch of their outfits and see if there's anything in your own closet that could possibly resemble one of their looks. Angela and Topanga from Boy Meets World. Oh my gosh. Obviously, the Friends girls. I think that if you are in a duo, I feel like this moment from Friends could be kind of fun and niche on something I've never really seen done before and would be just fun to say that that's who you are and like recreate this picture. I don't think I've really seen anybody do this look and please, I literally need someone to do this. This is Debbie Allen from Fame. Oh my gosh, like our queen, our icon. And I feel like this outfit would literally be so fun to recreate. Please, somebody do it. Obviously, the girls from Clueless, Dion, Cher, or Ty, Laura Jean. I feel like that's, this would be so cute, especially if you carried around like some cupcakes or something that you bake. Oh my gosh, any of the That 70s Girls, but this wouldn't be a GGMW video without including Jackie from That 70s Show. Okay, Ashley Banks from The Fresh Prince literally has so many iconic looks. Literally just go through her outfits if you look like her and try and find something that you can recreate. Okay, this would be such a fun group idea do the big mouth characters um i think they're really easy outfits that you probably already have in your closet okay the craft oh my gosh the costumes in this show are so cool gilmore girls here's another group idea is the spice girls as well as another group idea with the cheetah girls olivia rodrigo i feel like is a really fun and easy one if you have a bunch of stickers you can put on your face that's a great last minute look of course we have blair waldorf and i think it'd be really fun to be blair and her minions or blair and serena but also oh my god 
I think Jenny Humphrey is slept on. I honestly wish I had included this outfit because I think getting a blonde wig, already have blonde hair, just wearing a very Jenny inspired dress and then just carrying around like a measuring tape for like your sewing projects would totally sell Jenny. Little Women, we have Pearl from the movie the horror movie i meant to actually film this outfit but i literally ran out of time kiki's delivery service is one of my favorites every halloween another character you could do as long as you have like a slip dress or a long dress is carrie and then if you can go the full way pour that faux blood on yourself it'll be amazing squid games girl um, you could be the trio from mama mia here's some other characters from that so raven that you could be including that so raven obviously but there's just so many fun looks from this show as well as the show moesha oh my god this look right here if someone has similar pieces please recreate it the girls from saved by the bell london tipton oh my god literally so many iconic looks from this woman strawberry shortcake girls could be literally so cute um Coraline, Egna, um, Suki from Fast and Furious, Sexy from Fairly Odd Parents. Another group idea would be the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I hope you all loved this Halloween video so much. I hope it gave you some good last minute outfit ideas. I know it's literally so last minute, but I hope this helps if you're scrambling to find something or it's just fun. I hope you all have a safe Halloween. Thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go check them out down below. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.